and today we are going to continue our series on Thanksgiving dishes that I love to serve at my table and how I go about doing it. I love corn pudding. It reminds me of my mom's corn souffle growing up. They're both wonderful in their own right. Corn pudding is a little bit easier than corn souffle. She went to a lot of work to make that and I was like, I think my viewers would want something easier than that. Even though you're just basically separating the egg yolks from the egg whites and folding in the egg whites at the end. And it's just corn, milk, butter, eggs and salt and pepper. But this recipe has its own love. I've taken it to church for potlucks and the dishes come home empty. And I use real ingredients. What else is there to love than corn pudding on Thanksgiving? So let's go over the ingredients. We are using two pounds of frozen sweet corn. You want to have it balled and drained, and it could be either from your patch or the store, but we all know homegrown's best. And then we're going to use some local maple syrup, and that's three tablespoons. Don't have maple syrup on hand. You can add um, sugar instead, and I would probably use maybe a quarter cup of sugar. And also a maple extract if you have that on hand. Then we have six eggs, a half a cup of milk and a tablespoon of kosher salt. And if you don't have kosher salt on hand, you can just use table salt and just use half as much. Then we have cayenne pepper and it's a quarter of a teaspoon. And if you don't like cayenne pepper, you might want to go with an eighth of a teaspoon, but I barely notice it myself and it, it's still really good. And if you want, you can add a little bit more, but if you're not familiar with cayenne pepper, it's very good to give that little touch of heat. We have a quarter cup of flour, a teaspoon of baking powder, a cup and a half of heavy cream, and one stick or a half cup of melted butter. All right, to get started, you wanna preheat your oven to 350. You'll need a half sheet baking pan with a silicone mat and a baking dish that's like two quarts and you're going to need to grease your pan. I'm just using the wrapper from a stick of butter that we softened on the table. We're not wasting anything and in the restaurant business this is food cost. Then the next step is to put your corn in the blender and if you don't have a Vitamix you can use a food processor or just a regular blender. And if you don't have either one of those, I'm sure you can mix it up by hand. Maple syrup, and don't wanna waste that. Eggs, and before you put the milk in, you wanna make sure you hit all your dry ingredients next. Flour, baking powder, salt, cayenne, and your milk. And you wanna make sure you're pushing down your dry ingredients in there, because once you turn it on, it might fly up in the lid and it'd be a sad day <laughs> because then you will have to clean it. All right. You wanna add your lid and we're just gonna pulse. few times depending on how chunky or smooth you want it just like how you like your peanut butter it's all your preference so if you just like it you know chunky this is where you would stop but if you want some smooth pudding just turn it on and get it time for a minute or two so we're just going to pull it Pour it into your casserole, or you could put it into a bowl so to add your cream, but I don't want another dish. Mm. 
And this is where you add your heavy cream. And half your butter. I'm sure it'd be easier if we put it in a bowl. But you know, I like making clean up messes. I really do. All right. And the reason why you went and put the cream in before we put it in the dish is because you don't want to make butter or whipped cream in your dish. All right, so we're gently stirring. I think I might get away with not making a mess, even though there's corn on the side. <laughs> oh. Now, if you have a favorite corn dish, why don't you put a comment down below and if you feel generous, share the recipe because Thanksgiving is not the only day I eat corn. And if you don't want the, the cayenne in there, you could just add black pepper. All right, then you just wanna add the rest of your butter. All right, then we're gonna carefully put it in the oven. And this is gonna bake for an hour or 75 minutes. I think I could bake it for 65 in my oven. All right, we'll be back when it comes out of the oven. Okay, as it cools, it'll, it will sink down. Depending on how deep your dish is, will determine how long to cook it. If it was in a basic casserole dish like this, it would take less time. And this probably be more 60 minutes. This style of a dish is, it took like 75 minutes. We're just gonna let it cool for a couple minutes to let it cool off a little bit before I take a bite of this for you. All right, my favorite part of the video, getting to eat, right? Just kidding. <laughs> I think my favorite part is finishing it. But let me take some out to show you what it looks like when it's done. And I think the skin top is the best part. No. It is so good. Yes, this, the crispiness of the crust is a must. And you can definitely feel that cayenne hit in the back of your throat. It is so good. The sweetness of the corn and the butter and, and the heat. What are you thankful for? I'm thankful for good health, a loving husband, who's, I can't say enough about my husband. I, I thank the Lord every day that he's in my life and he loves me and is a good provider. And I'm thankful for you and your fellowship and all the, the comments that you post, they just warm my heart. Like, I'm just blown away by some of them. Like how I'm inspired some to start canning again, want to try something new. So, I'm thankful for a lot this Thanksgiving. We just all need to be kind to each other and help each other out in these tough times. There's a lot of neg negativity and just remember with the holidays, there's people that have lost loved ones. There's not, you know, they're not gonna be at that table with you this year. I can't think of anybody close to me that won't be there, but it, it's tough. I mean, with all the pressures of this life right now, we need each other more than ever, especially with mental health and all the other things that are going on. So make sure you reach out to people that you don't usually talk to on a regular basis and make sure they're okay. Like your neighbor across the road or across the street or a coworker that you barely talk to. 
make sure they're doing okay and be thankful for them because you might not get another chance because we don't take this life for granted. At least I don't. Comment down below what are you thankful for this season. If you like this video, please give me a like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting on? <laughs> I share good food, share some humor sometimes, <laughs> and you know, and good food. Well, until my next video, be thankful and God bless.